Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. Uh, we just did a quest for Delore Axebeard where we had to go to the island uh, and kill some necromancers for him inside of a cave. So we're going to go ahead and click on him and see what else he wants us to do uh, in that line of quest. Well met. You've managed to pinpoint the heart of the Rygor's operation. This is a most fortunate turn of events. Armed with this information, we stand a chance to take back Arolas from these orcs for good. But before we start celebrating, uh, we need to sever the head of this frostworm. We need to find and slay their leader. I've already been in the orcs, been to the orcs once. Count me out. Uh, I'm gonna say we need to slay the head of the frostworm, and that means heading back to the ossuary of ice. But this time, you'll be on the lookout for their leader and whatever tools he's using to manufacture the totems. What should I look for? How will I know when I found the leader? I've already been in there once, so another. I've had this recurring vision and now it makes sense. In my dreams I see an unholy crystal jetting out of the ice like a festering claw. The Rygor's necromancers stand around the crystal. What are they doing? Why would they stand around the crystal? I never really liked dark crystals. Goodbye. They're worshipping day and night. From the dark crystals have them hewed out of their dark totems for the dark purposes. And you think their leader can be found near the crystal. That might be the crystal we saw in the last episode, uh, and those creatures we just killed, the necromancers. Uh, your dreams give me the creeps is the, the second option. Uh, now that we found the crystal, he needs to protect it. He, sta he stands over it tirelessly and he never sleeps. I can see his reflection in the crystal. His eyes burn with purpose. He must be driven out. He must be mad. I must be going. Goodbye. He must be eliminated only by dealing with their fearless leader will we see any re reprieve out of the battlefield. You've seen firsthand that other tactics are ultimately ineff ineffective. While I'm in there, I may as well destroy that crystal. Anything else? I don't feel like my efforts are appreciated. Goodbye. Yes, after you dealt with the source of the leadership, uh, you'll want to destroy the source of those totems. Break the crystal. What do you think the crystal is made out of? What is the crystal? I don't want to touch that foul thing. I'm not certain, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's a piece of the sky that came raining down upon us that fateful day that we were separated from the rest of Alicia's. I'd say it's a piece of Lucian. That's terrifying. Whatever it is, it must be destroyed. On second thought, perhaps this isn't a job for me. How does that sound? Uh, I'll put an end to your nightmares. I'll sever the head of this worm, as you put it. It sounds like another waste of my time. So this is severing the head, level 14. It's uh, 6 silver, 23 copper, and I get a new bracer out of it. It's level 14, uh, because I'm playing a tank. It's a, a tank uh, uh, bracer. And we're going to go ahead and hit accept. Best of luck to you. I will return. The orcs will need the luck more than I will. So let's look at the map. If you're not sure about where we're going, it's the exact same spot over here in the Fruber and Quarry. While we're on our way, we might as well look to see if the name is backed up. We'll kill him on the way uh, and then head on over. And if you're not familiar with the name, he spawns over here in this general area in front of us. Uh, right there basically where that guy is standing. Uh, but there is somebody over here, so he must have just killed it. So we're going to go ahead and go through the tunnel, if we don't get caught on these little rocks. Remember, the only way up onto the little island is this little bridge uh, into the ice down here that we're heading straight for. Uh, always double check what island you're going to. You don't want to go to the wrong one. There's several here. You don't want to go to this one or this one down here just yet. This is the one you want to go to. Now, if you have a flying mount, uh, this would be a lot quicker. You wouldn't have to swim as much. It's a level 14 paladin back there, so... As you can see, there's other people playing the game. There's uh, always multiple uh, people on the zone. Quite a few, actually. In fact, I'll do forward slash so you can see all the people. Uh, there's 23 people in this zone right now. And this is a newbie zone, uh, primarily. It does have a city in it. 
Uh, but there's really not a lot of reason for people to come here unless they're a low level. So for 23 people, that's quite a bit, uh, considering what time it is and the fact that there's really nothing here to offer high levels. Go ahead and jump this little chasm. I'm going to run right by this guy. You know, you can fight him. But since we know exactly where we're going, and you know that we have to zone, uh, there's no real reason why uh, you need to fight these guys. Uh, you don't have to get too far away from them. Uh, so they lose track of you, all you have to do is zone. As soon as you zone, they're going to lose interest, they're going to... they're not going to be able to hurt you anymore, so... I'm going to go ahead and just run them off. But if you're not familiar with the area and you want to take your time, you're more than welcome to kill those guys. And here's the zone entrance, we're going to go ahead and zone in. Now you can see the name has changed, it's the Cave of Ill-Boating dark and then parentheses uh, the source so it's not exactly the exact same zone like I told you before you're gonna get a, a special instant just for yourself but if you are grouped your group members will zone in with you they'll be able to come to the same instant uh, and help you fight these people so if you find other people who are on the same quest uh, and you can do that simply by watching you know if they're killing the same creatures that you're killing uh, chances are they're on the exact same quest as you so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys. Or actually I don't have to because they just attacked. And I'm not gonna get too close. But you can see they're level 14 uh, and there's two arrows down. Now I don't know if they're level 14 because I'm level 14 and the zone's specific to me. There are zones like that out there that will uh, tailor themselves to you specifically no matter what level you are. Uh, there'll be your level. Now that can come in handy, uh, you get more experience out of those, but it can also be pretty bad if you're a high level or a higher level than the person you're grouped with, uh, they won't be very uh, much help for you, uh, since you're going to be, you know, much higher than you are, much higher than they are. And whoever zones in, whoever's the quest is for, is usually what level uh, it will pick to make the zone. So you usually want the lowest level person to zone in first, uh, and then the zone's tailored to them. Uh, but that doesn't always work. Sometimes it will do an average of the two. And these guys seem pretty easy. Nothing too special about them so far. Go ahead and move a little further in. And as you can see, there's the named. Level 14, and he's the Death Maker. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill his little grunts first. Now, when deciding what targets to pick, it's a little difficult uh, at this early stage because they die so quickly, anyways. Uh, later on, you really have to decide, uh, you know, who's your main concern? Is it the healers? which usually if there is one, uh, they can be very difficult. Uh, you definitely want to kill them first if you can. Uh, or is it going to be the spellcasters? Are they going to do insane amount of damage while you're sitting there messing around with the tank? So there is a little bit of strategy involved. Uh, the further in the game you get, the more strategy there is. So just a whole bunch of little tiny uh, trinkets that I can sell. And then, of course, don't forget that you still need to destroy this. A lot of people will come in here uh, and leave once they kill the guy and think, oh, you know, I'm done with the quest. But the quest did update, and it tells you to smash the crystal. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. And now it says I have killed uh, the Deathmaker and shattered the stone. And now I need to go speak with him. So you can see the little pieces here on the ground. They're all broken up. Uh, personally, I would have taken some with me if they were, you know, this legendary and they came from uh, Valium, but... Gonna go ahead and zone back out. Now remember, you can always fight your way out, or you can just uh, jump on the water. These guys will lose interest in you as soon as you get into the water, so it's not that big of a deal. Just 
Just remember to come back up if you go too far down. Well, they usually lose interest, but I guess maybe not this time. Either way, they won't last very much longer before they turn back. And since I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and come back through the entrance that has the name guy that spawns. Uh, and check to see if he's still back up. If he is, we'll go ahead and kill him. Uh, like I said before, it's always nice to kill those guys. They, they have AAs that you get for doing uh, any names. Uh, and you have a chance of getting loot, so... Don't forget to take you know stop take a look around. There's no rush, no reason to uh, rush through the game, and uh, you know do your fishing, your trade skills uh, whenever you can. That way you don't have to stop and and do a great deal of those. Now there's the named right there. I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. He's level 11 with one arrow up. He's not heroic, so there's that. Go ahead and loot. Now those are actually better than what I'm wearing. 87 mitigation, 9 wisdom, and 8 stamina. So I'm going to go ahead and loot those. Then I'm going to come down to my inventory, which is almost completely full, and put those on. And as you can see, it changed the way my guy looked. Uh, it has more of a little cloth feel to it than anything else. But let's go ahead and go turn those in. Now your character does have uh, multiple stat or multiple areas in his uh, his character screen, and one of them is your equipment, and then the other one is your appearance. You can put items in here solely based off of the way they look. They won't add any stats to you, but they will uh, change the way you look on the outside. So if you happen to find a set of armor that looks really cool, or if you want to deck your guy out and and all sorts of different colors and, and styles, you're welcome to do that. Uh, you do have that ability, even though the, the piece may not be worth very much uh, as far as stats or mitigation goes, uh, you can still put it on. You've returned and not a minute too soon. The orcs are worked up into a frenzy all over whatever you just did. I shattered the crystal and slew their leader. Uh, I severed your worm's head as promised. I wish I could have been there to see the look on their toothed grinned faces. Ha! It must have been a, slight to, a sight to behold. And now their forces run around like helpless leaderships, leaderless axe fodder. So that's it right there. Se uh, severing the head, level 14. 8 silver, 72 copper, and a new bracer out of it, which is kind of nice. So I'll go ahead and accept. I'm glad to have helped. Now he does have another quest, and we're going to do that on the next episode. Uh, if you guys like these videos, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, uh, leave a comment below, or hit me up in game. And thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you on the next episode.